This topic is on alternates in UNEST. Alternates is a way of allowing the estimator to choose among different items. Uh, for example, in this estimate, we've got alternative flooring types. We've got wood flooring, roll carpet, and we've got ceramic tile. So we've got three different types of flooring selected. And alternates allow us to choose the one based on price or whatever um, that we want to keep in the estimate. An alternate essentially is a specialized work breakdown structure. It has a code and a name, and what makes it unique is that you can turn it on or off, so you can include it or exclude it from the estimate. So the process is the same as doing a WBS. You come into tables and go down to alternates. This is the basic setup. And I've set this up with code one, two, and three, wood flooring, carpeting, and ceramic tile. You see up at the top there's different activation modes. I like using selectable because you can click it on or off, but people may want to use approved or pending, uh, pending and approved, so different activation modes. My um, observation over the years is that almost every really that I've worked with uses the selectable mode, leaves it checked on or off. Um, at any rate, when I did this takeoff, I assigned the wood flooring to a wood flooring alternate, carpet to carpet, and ceramic tile to ceramic tile. If I want to see that, I can right click, insert the filter column, and put in the alternate name or code in the name. And you can see that these three here are my choices. Um, anywhere in the estimate, I can right click, I go to alternate activator and choose which alternate I want. By default, if you haven't set anything to an alternate, everything belongs to the base estimate. So I've chosen carpeting in here. And when I look at this, I can see that the wood flooring and the ceramic tile are slightly grayed out here on the left. You won't see those two items in any other view in UNS because they're not active. Um, to give you an idea of what this looks like, if you go to the totals page and go to the alternate standard filter. This breaks it out by the base estimate. So here's all the base estimate costs on down through here. And then here are the carpeting totals on down through here. If I right click and I go to alternate activator, I can in fact turn off the base. If I wanted to look at just the wood flooring costs or just the carpeting costs, or just ceramic tile costs, you can do that. And that's how estimators would choose among the different alternates. Alternates can also be used for upgrades. Um, home builders, for example, always include uh, basic uh, plumbing in their house. Um, and they may give you the op option to um, upgrade to Kohler plumbing. And so in their database, they may have the price difference between the two for the upgrade price. And by turning the alternate on, it then indicates that you want to include the better plumbing and, and the price would reflect that. So again, that's from tables, alternates, where the setup happens. Um, and then most of the analysis takes place in the tools page, right clicking, in there. There's also uh, filters that you can look at with um, alternate details. We'll show the active alternates. So it's got my base and then my little carpeting. So these are the direct costs. And that's it for alternates.